It's that time again. Sony have officially revealed the free games we receive as PS Plus essential subscribers for the month of August 2022. All these games will be downloadable from Tuesday the 2nd of August and I've got to say it's a pretty good month. First up is the sublime Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Two skateboarding classics from over 20 years ago have been lovingly rebuilt for a new audience, while staying respectful to what made them both iconic. The goal is to achieve a high score by chaining tricks together for as long as possible before wiping out. In no time at all, you'll be going from skate parks to grinding telephone wires in the street and smashing through barriers to find secret new areas to master. The soundtrack is a nostalgia masterpiece with tracks from the 90s like Public enemy through to the 2000s with Machine Gun Kelly and if it's anything like the original games the soundtrack will stick in your head for days, weeks and sometimes months. With 21 pro skaters to choose from and a cameo from Jack Black no less and over 700 challenges to master awarding cosmetics, in-game cash and boards there's enough content to last you a very long time. Plus there's a multiplayer mode and the ability to create your own skate park which can then be uploaded and shared with the world. Reviewers tell us Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is an 8.5 out of 10, so you should play it. Next we have Yakuza Like a Dragon, a third person action RPG. I'm sure you've heard about Yakuza in the past, yet Like a Dragon is different. It uses a turn based fighting system. The new combat allows for an unbelievable amount of different moves to be utilised, from standard kicks and punches through to throwing bowls of fruit at someone's face. I even saw a guy channel lightning through a guitar once. And that pretty much sums up Yakuza games. They are always kind of insane in the best possible way and never take themselves too seriously. That said, we play as Ishiban Kasuga, who agreed to be arrested for a crime he didn't commit. 18 years later and he's back out again. But things have changed and we must unwind a story of deceit, betrayal and dishonour. The people Ichiban meets and becomes close to are surprisingly compelling and you'll want to continue the story just to see what happens to those. They all want to heal the world using their fists. Yakuza Like a Dragon has one glaring issue. In the late game a tremendous amount of XP farming is needed to be able to fight a long string of endgame bosses. It doesn't ruin the game but it does make the late game a severe grind. Reviewers said Like a Dragon is an 8 out of 10 game which means it's really good but you'll need around 40 hours to get through it all good luck and finally on ps4 is little nightmares an atmospheric horror game which tells a detailed story of survival that builds to an amazing crescendo without a single word spoken a small child named six platforms her way through a mysterious ship playing hide and seek with deadly foes to break out of this hell six will need to solve puzzles and stay away from eyes that turn children into stone and caretakers with arms so long it's terrifying Running from safe spot to safe spot praying not to be caught is the underpinning fear mechanic Little Nightmares gives us. The story is never presented openly, yet each room adds to the narrative. Where does all that meat come from? Why is that a cage over there? All these questions have answers if you look hard enough for them. Little Nightmares takes around 5 hours to complete, but the harrowing things you will learn by the end will stick with you much longer. Little Nightmares reviews average out at 8.5 out of 10, which means this month every single game is at least an 8 out of 10 on average. That's, that's impressive. So what do you think to this month? I'd give this month an 8 out of 10 as well. What do you say? I'm Adam, you're awesome. Thanks for sticking around. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.